Okay, we're back graphing parabolas again. This time, again, using the horizontal shift to get the vertex and the axis of symmetry and the y-intercept to make things go a little faster. First, I'm going to find the horizontal shift by reminding myself that if I take this number, negative 4, take its opposite, that's positive 4, cut it in half, that gets me 2, and then divide by the number right here, so that's a negative 1, so 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So I already know the x-coordinate of my vertex is negative 2. I'm going to put a negative 2 right here and then calculate what I get when I put negative 2 in for x in each place up here. I've got the work shown and I'll slide it right onto the screen. Negative 2 squared right here and then negative 2 there. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, so the negative sign makes it negative. Of course, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Now, negative 4 minus negative 8 is the same thing as negative 4 plus 8 minus 1 gets me 3. So I already know that negative 2, 3 is the vertex, which means I know there is my axis of symmetry. I also know some other things. See that negative 1 out here? That's the y-intercept, so I know it crosses the y-axis at negative 1. And because I have an axis of symmetry here, I know there's another point, two units on the other side, right over here. Well, I need a couple more points, so I think what I'll do is put a negative 1 in for x and calculate what y is. And here's my work shown. When I put negative 1 in for x and square it, and negative 1 right here, here's what I get. Negative 1 squared is 1, so the negative sign makes it negative. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And then negative 1 minus negative 4 is the same thing as negative 1 plus 4, so that's 3. Minus 1 gives me 2. So now I know negative 1, 2 is another point on the parabola. And I get a free point over here, again, because the axis of symmetry divides the thing evenly. Now, I won't try to draw this thing with my mouse. That would look pretty sloppy, but you can see exactly where the parabola is going to go now. And that's it.